All right, so the Adelo kiosk is a new uh, module that has come out for the Adelo Express app. You can find this on the uh, App Store. You can download it. You can then link it. And I'm going to show you first how to set this up. It's a real easy setup, but it, there is a, a couple of tricks to it. When you load in the Adelo kiosk module onto your iPad, you're going to get this display. It's a QR code. The way you set this up is you scan the QR code in the Adelo Express app. Therefore, you have, if you have two iPads, your kiosk iPad is going to have this display with the QR code. On your POS Adelo Express, you're going to have the ability then to scan this barcode, and that then links that kiosk to this network. If you are only dealing with one iPad, like for a demo, then what you're going to do is take a screenshot. And you'll notice I have the two arrows on the top left corner. On the iPad, you will touch the volume up and the sleep button simultaneously for about a second. And when you do, it's going to take a screenshot. Email that screenshot to your device. Uh, I emailed it to my laptop and then scanned my code on the display of the laptop. So you, that's how you have to do it if you're on a demo mode with one iPad. you got to take a screenshot and somehow figure out how you're going to scan that with your iPad. The iPad camera is being utilized more and more on Adelo Express. So get kind of used to it. There's going to be other modules that are going to use that camera to do certain functions, uh, not the least of which is going to be the gift card module. So just get prepared and get used to using that uh, that camera for a multitude of things. When you have the QR code available, then you're going to scan it with the Adelo Express app. You're going to pull down the manager menu. The bottom on the about midway down, there's a uh, link for you to activate the scanning through the camera. So when you touch that, your camera becomes active and you scan the code. Once you do, you're then linked, your two devices are linked together, and the database will load. The kiosk database will download from the cloud onto the kiosk. The functionality will be there. You will you do have functions that you can set up in the back office, whether it's going to be a quick service or table service, but you do get that database. Um, this is a database that we're going to use today in our class. And I'm also going to do a live presentation of it for you as well. So the basics are you do get the same items from your point of sale loaded into the kiosk, and then you have set up uh, things in the kiosk that you will then be able to determine whether it's a table service, quick service, what have you. It is included with a dental pay processing. There is no charge for the kiosk module. No charge whatsoever if they're processing with a Dello Pay. It is $99 a month if they're going to do the SAS, because we consider this just to be another terminal. So if you have one, um, one point of sale cashier and four kiosks, that's a five terminal install for a Dello Pay under the SAS model. It is not available for the perpetual license. It is only available through the Adobe Pay at no charge or $99 for the SAS. It is unlimited terminals because we are, uh, we're, we look at this as just another device in the network. So it can be uh, counted in with the terminal count, which we know to be unlimited. Currently, it is only available to active Adelo Express RPs. So for demo purposes, if you're currently a, an active referral partner, then you can have this as a demo. But we want to start you off first with Adelo Express, get you active with that, and then add the kiosk as an advanced level to the, the basic functions of the Adelo Express. Pay the table is available 
using a separate PAX device. There is no PAX device on the iPad. There's none, you would not attach it to the lightning port. It is a separate PAX device. Uh, QSR will be the same way. You can have a kiosk terminal in an actual display. There are displays available that will allow for the iPad to be installed in the in the um, in a wall unit or in a standalone, and have that pay as an option pay option there available through the, uh, the PAX device. You can also do order recall. That is, have multiple kiosk iPads ringing into the system and then funneling those customers to a cashier for them to be recalled and then you can process the order from there. The uh, I say that when you own the iPad when you're entering in the kiosk and you do enter the order and you do submit it it goes immediately to the kitchen and, and be there uh, and, and prints on the printers in the, in the kitchen but it also then pops up on all the different terminals to be re able to be recalled from any terminal in the system. So if you're using a cashier system, then that would work for that. Force modifiers are part of the system in that we do have the ability to force temperatures for steak or force modifiers. These are required before the order will proceed. We also do advanced modifiers, and those follow the guidelines that are set up in the database. That is, guidelines for are they required, is there a minimum, is there a maximum, are they strictly optional? All those guidelines that are set up in the database will flow through to the kiosk. All items that are added go into the shopping cart, and you'll notice on the top right-hand side over here, it looks just like you would on some other shopping cart, Amazon or wherever. It would be a shopping cart here on the right-hand side that is then added to as you add the items. Once you are, once the, the customer is done, they then have the ability to touch that shopping cart button and then have the display of the items in their order. So it's an order review screen. This is similar to what they would be uh, accustomed to on an online system. On this, the customer has the chance to delete an item. They can then go back and then continue shopping, if you will. They can also enter a coupon that's done in the right-hand corner. They can also add an item note. You know, all they do is touch the item, and then they can type in their own note about that item. So they can put in their own um, commands, their own uh, put their request into the kitchen of how they'd like their sauce on the side or extra salt. Those things can be done as an item note. You also have the ability to put in an order note. So you can have that as a note for the entire order to be put in. Then on the top right hand corner, that green button, that is the submit order. Once that order is submitted, it then it goes to the kitchen and then it's able to be recalled on any of the other iPads. So that just goes into the uh, recall order queue that you would have on all the other iPads. And at that point, they can proceed with the order in the normal fashion. They can add to it, they can modify it, they can do changes, they can uh, apply discounts and whatever. So that then becomes like a normal, uh, what we would normally have in the Delo Express. So this can be then at that point just proceed normally. For more information about Adelo and our products, you can always call us at 800 801 6036 or email us at sales at .com. If you have a support question, email support at .com, or you can check us out at the family of websites that we have adello.com, adellopay.com, and adello.express.